Hey guys, and welcome to what should be the last episode of Assassin's Creed Freedom Cry. I know there's still uh, a quarter left of the game, but I have a feeling that the last uh, two or three sequences will probably fit in one episode. And also, I, I'd rather do that anyway, because I think if there's three left and there's been about two sequences per episode each so far, it'd be kind of weird to have one where it's two and then just have a very short episode with the last one. So. I plan to just kind of go through and finish it out, unless of course it runs very long. And I'm excited because, you know, like I said when I started playing this, I started playing this game years, uh, like I said when I started the series, I started playing this game years ago, but I really didn't get that far before my computer crapped out and I just, I didn't continue it. So I'm going to be getting to the ending for the first time, and really most of this has been me seeing it for the first time. And I'm just really particularly excited about that. It'll be cool to see how this ties, uh, ties up and uh, how Adewale leaves everyone. Oh, right. I forgot. We have to catch a slave ship. That's what we're doing. So yeah, because I remember what it was is that uh, because of Adewale's actions... I, I'm trying to remember the specific one, but I know something had happened that Bastien told Adewale about. Um, and their discussion about kind of the, the harm that taking very direct, very strong actions can have, and Adewale kind of being like, fuck that, I'm rescuing everyone, which is what we're about to do. How far are we? Alright, we're getting within range. Oh, I just have to reach it. I don't have to attack it yet. I probably will once I get closer. But for now, it's just saying reach the ship. But I am within mortar fire dis- Wait, no, but there's- Yep, 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 yep. We gotta sink the escorts. No! Alright, come on, load up that mortar. And brace. Oh, brace again. Oh, brace again. Calm down. You gotta let me fire some shots. Whoop. And... Oh, we got one already. Eh, fuck you. Oh, I didn't realize I had my sails uh, down. We do want to keep moving. And... Oh, hold on. We gotta make a turn. Uh-oh. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's create some distance. And also, fuck you guys. Whoop. Eh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. See? We sunk them. Now we just got that one left. Oh, no, I didn't... I guess I sunk both of them. Man, I'm getting better at the naval combat again. That's always nice. Oh. You think the they know we're trying to save the slave ship. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Turn me around. Oh, thank God. It turned me around. No, no, no. no. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You ain't doing this shit. That's why it stopped it. And hit you with a chain shot, and the mortar, and we're just gonna give you a nice boop. Fuck you, that's what you get. We're going, we're going, we're gonna get him, it's gonna be fine. Let's get rid of that real quick. Da -da -da. Board this. What angle are we gonna come in at here? I kind of chose an odd spot. He thinks I made a mistake. And that things are bugged a bit. Uh. Well, this is interesting. Good fucking arm on you guys, though. Do we have to... The fact the music is gone is also interesting. Okay, but they're bringing us close. Let's get ready. And here we go. Oh, shit. I meant to grab the rope and be cool. I guess we're just climbing aboard. Oh, but the crew's probably abandoned already. Control these fires, then prepare the experto credit to receive survivors. Come on, come on. Oh, there it is, there it is. Oh, I really hope we got there in time. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you forget that historically they were all just kind of stacked up there like that. Liberate the slaves. What do I do? How? How do? Oh! Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, uh, oh, I have to keep doing it. I have to keep doing it. I have to keep doing it. Okay. I failed it the first time. That's why. 
Oh, this is not the time for this. Okay. Spacebar. Mouse. Mouse. Oh, fuck. Come on, come on. All right, go, 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 go. How many of these do we have to do? Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Oh, oh, come on. All right, cool. Go, go, go. Get out of here. Come on. All right, who else we got to save, Addy? There's more, there's more, there's more. There's definitely more. I can hear them. Okay, okay. This one. All right. What's happening? Why did it cut scene? Oh, come on, we gotta get them all out. Come on, we got this. We got this. Yes, yes, I know my mission. I see it. I was headed towards there before. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. You're out of here. Come on, go, but... Oh, God, the ones that are laying down are dead already. Because a lot of slaves would just... They would die in transport because of the just unsanitary and brutal conditions of the ships. Oh, oh wrong button. Fuck me. All right, come on. We can do this. We can do this. Really hope there's no time limit. F. F. Mouse. F. Okay, you're good. Go. Go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Fuck. Come on. We're getting you out of here, buddy. Don't worry. Okay. There were 15 slaves. What? So there was a time limit. Is it because of the water rising? Oh, God. Come on. We got to do more. We got to do more. are there? How many can we save? Oh, the water's rising. Alright, come on. Keep going. Just keep going. Uh. Alright. Okay. Next up. Next up. Next up. Follow the path. Follow the path. Is that all of them? Is that all the ones we could rescue at least? Oh, fuck. Oh, he's trapped in the ship now. Where he's gotta be if he doesn't get the hell out. Oh, Christ. Oh, Christ, we didn't get everyone. Oh, no, an Adama! He fell into. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we, we gotta swim out of here. And they're all dead, so we can't pull them with us or anything, can we? Jesus. Okay, what do we have to do to open that? Oh, God. I, well, they certainly, like, this is really fucking morbid, but a, as it should be, slave ships were horrific. They were basically just cargo ships that they were shoving human beings inside of with no real regard to their safety. As long as enough of them made it back to land to sell, that was all that really mattered to them. Oh, shit. Okay, I thought that knocked him out. Oh, we're out. Okay, skip. Oh, Jesus, they're stuck. How, how do we get them out? I... How, how do we get them out? Can we get them out? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. We can't free them, can we? Save them without getting out. You just. Oh, jeez. I mean, this this kind of proves Bastien's point about how there are consequences to what they're doing. And even though Adewale went in to save everyone, there was only so many he was able to get out. How many of the ones we freed even actually got out? He's bleeding. Blood in the water makes me think of sharks. Oh. Is this... Yeah. Oh, God. They're buried. Well, 
They're probably burying whoever they can. Gouverneur Lafayette. I thought I understood his indifference. I did not anticipate the extent of his heartlessness. He tried to warn me. We are all guilty. The governor will pay with his own life. My creed demands that I see to it. C'est la main. C'est raté. Revenge is called comfort. Once the fire is gone, another tyrant will take his place. His death must give this generation of warriors hope. They must not abandon the goal of independence. And the death of these souls? So, they lead new life. Jesus. We will always mourn them. Uh, well, at least I got a hundred percent sink. Loose and trim too. Oh, that that did bring up one of the um, critical issues of how the assassins operate, though. That even if they kill someone terrible or a Templar, they they're gonna have someone lined up to take over their place. You know, they're they're an organization, and even if it isn't Templars, if it is just a generally corrupt and evil person, someone's going to take over. And I remember Syndicate, when it came out, I really enjoyed because I actually touched on that, about how anytime Jacob went to go kill someone who, you know, kind of did deserve to die, there was some kind of huge crisis because they didn't plan out what comes after that. With, I know, one of the biggest ones being when he kills, like, the head of the Bank of England and the currency starts to drop because he just killed the bank of he just killed the head of the bank of england while they were stealing a ton of shit and evie had to go around and, and basically fix everything um so that is kind of one of the issues of the creed of just you know even if these these people deserve to die what do you do afterwards which i guess adewale raises the point of how it will inspire others especially in a situation like this where they're trying to create a revolution but Still, I'm, I'm glad they mentioned that, just because for a lot of games, they never really touched on that subject of the... The the Assassins are supposed to be this, this, this gray area, as are the Templars, but it really had only ever been portrayed... Oh. Can we ship? And mine for some months. Is it because you're seeing that Legends ship on the side? That she sunk somewhere off the coast of Hispaniola, but none know just where. You believe it is here? More likely, I succumb to nostalgia in my age. Yeah. But how long after does this take place? I gotta double check the years, because this could be a long time after he left uh, Kenway's crew. Um, but yeah, the the Assassins and the Templars are... The war between them is supposed to be this morally gray area, but most of the games had really just portrayed the Assassins as being the straight good guys, and the Templars as just always the bad guys, and never touching upon, you know, the real cause and effect of their actions. So, which they did do in Syndicate, which I enjoyed a lot, and I'm glad they mentioned here. Alright, I'm gonna cut ahead to, uh, quick travel. Okay. Whoa, we have a lot- I haven't been here in a while. We have a lot more recruits, and it's probably because of everyone I've been freeing. So that's awesome. Oh. Hi there. I wonder. Can I- no, I can't kill them. Okay. Uh, let's go find where we gotta go. Oh, wait. Oh, the mission is inside here. I don't have to leave. I have to go find the mission. Duh. Alright, let's go find it. It's probably, uh, Augustine's probably, ha probably uh, has it. Yep, right over there. What do we got planned? I didn't mean to stand on the table, but I'm going to. I believe it is time. The governor grows complacent. His guards lazy. They have already forgotten the terror they wrought. I will remind them. Once you have removed the fire, you will no longer be safe here. Oh, hell, will have will to the leave. Be if I stay. It will bring me sadness to see you go. Because he can kill him as an assassin, celebrate but Maroon independence. he can't let it be connected to the Maroon Rebellion. You know well the grounds of the, the governor's rebels, residence. Rather. Choose your moment. Do not get caught. I'm almost certain I'm gonna get caught. <laughs> like, just knowing me. Either that or, you know, I'm gonna take out everyone before I go for him. But I wanna go for a fancy kill, though. 
Also, if you see any, uh, like, uh, sounds in the background, like explosions and stuff, it's, uh, 4th of July while I'm recording, and there are fireworks in my neighborhood. It is not legal to have fireworks where I live. That doesn't stop it. Oh, oh, you weren't there a second ago. You, uh, you took a moment to load. Nope. You don't see me. For once, I think I'm just gonna straight gun for the mission, because we're, we're on one. Oh, oh, that's why all these guys are here. Oh, because we're in the we're in the mission already, so they're gonna be looking for me, and I'm suspicious. Well, there's the mansion. Oh, I can I can. Okay, you're just guy. I can get back in that uh, that way before when I escaped with the slaves around the side, probably. Hey, fellas, how are you? I was gonna try and find a shop to get more darts, but honestly, I'll I'll probably be fine with what I have. At least I sure hope so. Yep, there it is. God, that was that was still really cool that like the optional objective showed me the easiest way to get in and out of the property. Oh Jesus, that's a brand. Oh god. I will personally find and kill every last one of you and Yeah, they're trying to find out where we went and where we're hiding. Where is the hideout of the Maroons? Oh god. The guys are highlighted because I use Eagle Vision. Kill him with the branding iron and kill five guards with the blunderbuss. Okay, sounds good. Don't gotta tell me twice. Uh, I should I should do it quick. Just so this guy isn't like suffering for a long time. Jesus. Okay, I'm on my way, buddy. Don't worry. I uh, gotta get one more. Whoa! No, 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 no. Let me reload it. Fuck it. Hey, get back here. Uh, I'm looking for the smoke bombs. How do I... Oh, fucking hell. How do I use the thing? Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up big time. Let's try that again. I also forgot how the hell I, I quick throw the smoke bombs, so let's... Uh, I'm sorry, buddy. Just give me give me a second. Is it F? It's F. Okay, cool. I didn't mean to do that. Oh. That's two. Whoa, hey there, buddy. I messed this up again. All right, you know what? We're going to have to restart it either way. Okay. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. We already have it activated. Let's just fucking storm the gate. Why not? Four in one go. Uh oh No, 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 no. Where is the branding iron? Eh, we're just going to restart it again. Hold on. I want to find out where the hell the branding iron is. Oh, I have to chase. I have to chase him to get it. All right, that's easy enough. Also, this is this isn't so much a completionist thing. I just think it'd be really fucking cool to kill him with his branding iron. And that's all in one go. Let's just get you two. Nope. All right, let's get this chase started. Yep, this button. You won't see it coming. Why are you all running after him? Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. Get up, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, God. Wow, the smoke bombs fucking suck. No, 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 no. Fuck all of you. No, keep running. Jesus, don't fucking stop. Because it said I have to chase him to a certain point, and then eventually he'll try to make a stand and fight me. So, you know. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. Let me go in the hidey bush. We we'll want to be barehanded because we have to disarm him to do this. And here we go. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, let's just kill him slowly like this. Oh, okay, we're not. Oh, fucking, I'm pressing the button. Jesus Christ. Okay, you know what? Fuck this. This is stupid. Let's just murder everyone. Alright, I'm on the verge of death. That's when I do my best. They'll be fine. We'll just do the battle like this. Oh, I got some health back. Cool. It's because you guys are taking forever to try and kill me. Oh, almost didn't notice you. I was watching that guy in the corner and seeing where my health is at. Yeah, let's just wipe them all out. Alright, I'll see you guys in a minute once I'm done with that. You're just, like, frozen in place. Fuck you, Fiat. You'll get your turn. There we go. Oh, did someone else want to join the fight? Or is it just you? Oh, alright. Fuck. Hold on. Hold on. Whoa. Y'all are getting a little too excited. Okay, big boy over there is making me nervous. Good. Thank you for killing him. <laughs> now I just have to kill him with it, but not Fayette. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Don't kill him! Oh wait, you dropped the thing before. Where is it? No! That isn't- oh my god. Why do the controls suck sometimes? This is taking a stupid amount of time. Oh, shit. Shit on me. Okay, hold on. Get some distance, get some distance, get some health. Get some distance, get some health. I was gonna do this really cool, and now it's probably like the least impressive thing possible. Headshot! Get it, get it, get it. Cool. Oh, you're up on the roof now. Yeah, let's make this real dramatic. Come on, let's go. Oh, no, you drop it if you climb. Okay, hold on. Where did I put it? Holy shit. Holy shit. Wow, this is... Okay, now we can... Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Alright, let's kill you first. Alright, and then we've got to break your guard, and now we can do the cool thing. That was a lot less cool than... That wasn't worth it. I'm sorry I put you guys through that. But this will be cool. Oh, in the gut. Jesus. Who will come to your rescue? Your slaves? The overseers who follow your orders? Pathetic. What kind of man does not fight for himself? Why? Oof. I have killed many men on principle, but never have I wanted one to suffer as much as you. To understand what it is to get Shit. and beg for your life. Yeah, cause that that and the innocence you drowned. That wound, you're just gonna bleed out for that. Slaves. That ship. But they're not even human. Without the discipline and guidance of their masters, they turn to rebellion. Murder. <laughs> Like you. Maybe because you're fucking enslaving them. I only wish that would Oh, shit. That was a hell of a response. I flubbed around doing a lot of stuff because I thought it would be like this dramatic thing that turned into a cutscene. I don't know why. So that was a lot goofier than it should have been. Open oh, out a while he's gonna have to leave. What oh, does that mean? This is he probably the end. He suffered badly. I made sure of it. Have you come to say goodbye? For now. But not without giving you this. Oh, you're giving her the package. Also, have you ever seen oh. me reacting before they say it's subtitles? After all this time, he lost interest. You're not worried it will fall into Templar's hands? Nah, we can trust you. I fear worse things now. No Templar plot 
and equal your wrath. <laughs> Try to make light. Nah, he's not kidding. Time like this. Only to lighten my sorrow. Bastion could probably be real fucking dangerous if she wanted to. You will return to your brotherhood of assassins. And whatever duty they assign you. I will return, yes. But I feel a tide changing within me. I'm no longer young. I must devote my energy to those who struggle for freedom. I will use my conviction and my creed to defend them alongside anyone who will help me. I have no one left to sell this to. I think uh, Adewale is going to start some rebellions of his own. Not against the Brotherhood, just, you know, probably helping with more slave uprisings and rebellions. What was in the box, anyway? Did we actually find out? Watch, well, they actually showed us a while ago, and I've just forgotten. Is that it? That was it. All right. So that was that was actually a lot quicker than I thought it would be. I didn't realize. Uh, first of all, I thought it was going to be two sequences instead of one. Secondly, I, I I didn't realize that they would be so quick. I mean, they were good. They enjoyed them. That that especially that sequence with the slave ship. That was just that that was horrifying. That was, you know, we went in on this mission because uh, Adewale is all full of fire. He's going to save everyone. He's going to prove Bastien wrong, that they're doing the right thing and that he can still save everyone. And he goes in and you're breaking everyone out. You're getting them out of the ship. You've got the ship ready for them to escape to. But it capsizes and, and you have to escape. And you already see so many of them get killed by the water rushing in. And then as you're trying to escape, there's more just, just stuck still in their chains that he wasn't able to free and that he, he can't. Because even if he goes to free them, they'll probably still just drown unless they know how to swim as well as he does or swim out of a out of a out of a sinking ship, which is probably a hell of a lot harder than he makes it look. <laughs> you know, but that that sequence was just, it was horrific. Um, and it, it, it was great because it was horrific because, you know, slave ships had been a part of the game of just this thing in the background as a, as basically an escort mission. You know, there was still a lot of gravity to it, meaning, you know, in that we were trying to flee the slaves on, free the slaves on there and that you couldn't shoot the slave ship directly because it would hit the slaves and, and kill them. But that... That was a gut punch. We're taught about the slave trade in school. That's something that you learn very early on, but it's taught you in a very sanitized and desensitized way. It's not even called the slave trade. It's called the triangle trade or whatever the hell it was. And yes, it was the triangle trade, but that's not really the point here. It's, it was the slave trade. And you're even shown what the boats looked like from images and, and even, you know, reconstructions or models or whatever. But at no point are you actually taught the history in a way that actually conveys the, the, the horror and just the how, how actually disgusting it was. And that's information that you may not actually learn until it's presented to you directly in a format like this or through other media. And that last sequence was good too because of that banter between Augustine and Adewale about the merits of killing and not killing Defayette. And I think Ultimately, Adewale may have been right in that situation, and then that, in that killing Defayette was going to inspire the rebels and inspire possibly new rebels to, to aid their cause. So yeah, a new tyrant's probably going to take over after him. But when they do take over, hopefully they're going to have a hell of a bigger rebel army to deal with than Defayette did. And maybe after a couple tyrants' uh, heads roll, maybe they'll learn their lesson, because that's really the only way revolutions work when there's uh, vicious tyrants involved and things like this where you know it's never ended in well i shouldn't say never but it's unlikely that it ends in the rebels and the tyrant discussing things because for you to have a discussion for you to have a compromise both sides need to recognize the humanity of each other and tyrants like slave owners and slave traders do not recognize the humanity of slaves as defi had even said they're not human he's not going to negotiate with them because that's beneath him so what other response would they have and sadly that kind of thinking, even though this is a game taking place back in whichever year it was, I think it's like late 1800s or something, ugh, probably gonna get that really wrong, that 
kind of grim realization isn't too irrelevant because there's still plenty of places in the world where people are under terrible uh, conditions from tyrants and dictators that are never going to listen to the people and never going to compromise or negotiate and not even just outside of the United States even here in the United States we have plenty of things going on where just with police brutality with mass incarceration with the activities of the kkk the activities of our administration that disregard the lives and the humanities of black people and just in general people of color but in particular black people because historically they get it the worst in the u.s and what are you supposed to do with people who are in the kkk people in the trump administration people who are selfish, inhumane tyrants that have no interest in listening to the needs of the people that they are harming. Which is a really grim thing to think about. You'd like to think that in the year 2017, that, you know, that wouldn't be so relevant, but, you know, no, we're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're living in a weird time where, you know, you, you think, you, you see what's happening in the country and you kind of start to wonder when the hell there is going to be some kind of larger scale violence that isn't being employed by the state as opposed to the people and what the hell's gonna happen if it comes to that. But that took a darker tension and I guess I kind of just revealed some of my political leanings there. But you know what, that's fine. I don't make a habit of hiding what I think about politics and what I think about the administration and what I think about rising fascism in the US. It's probably just kind of a weird place for it to come up in a let's play during the credits of an Assassin's Creed game. But you know, that's where they came up. And they're probably going to come up more because uh, at some point I'm going to be, I may as well say this here, I'm going to be doing a let's play of Wolfenstein The New Order uh, hopefully before the next Wolfenstein game comes out because her friend recommended it to me basically by just telling me it's a game literally about killing Nazis. I kind of wonder if there's something after the credits, so let's see if I can skip them. Oh, hold to skip cinematic. I guess this is part of cinematic. Oh, there is something left here. Oh no, it's this is probably, yeah, after the game when you can just kind of free explore the area and uh, finish up all the extra stuff if you wanted to. I don't think that there's anything... Yeah, there's no actual missions left, so it would just be all this optional stuff and the stuff out at sea, which, to be honest, I'm, I'm probably not gonna do you know i usually do that with assassin's creed games when i played on my own but i really just wanted to go through the story of that and experience it and i feel like i got everything i wanted out of playing through the main story that was you know it was a lot of fun i enjoyed it i got reminded of how adewale is like the best fucking assassin that they've created so far well actually no there's kind of for me it, it's it's a like a four-way tie between connor kenway adewale aveline and um, Xiao Yun, who it's criminal that she doesn't have her own game despite them. Actually, it's criminal that Adewale and Aveline don't have their own full console games either, or console PC games. Sorry about it, I'm not playing the game anymore. <laughs> ah, fuck it, why not? Nah. Wait. Where are you coming from? Oh, you're up there. Let me see if I can shoot you from here. Oh, I made a mistake. Ah, oh, I killed a civilian. All right, you know what? We're just going to pause it there. I don't need to get in a scuff up. I have said everything that I meant to say. I enjoyed this a lot. I got to go on a weird political tangent, which was a lot of fun. Ooh, I got uh, almost 100% upgrades on the ship. And very few upgrades on Ottawale. So considering I was going with basic equipment, I'm going to go ahead and say that I did great. But I'm going to leave this here as the end of the series. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I'll see you later.